good morning dear students in today's lecture we will talk about the third type of biomolecules that is nucleic acids now what are nucleic acids so these are the biopolymers of nucleotides it means we can say in nucleic acids the monomeric units are nucleotides the simplest unit by which nucleic acids are formed are called nucleotides so as nucleic acids are the polymers of nucleotides so they are also called polynucleotides so here is your definition nucleic acids are the polymers of nucleotides so they are also called polynucleotides now the most important point the point number second that is nucleic acids are the biomolecules which are responsible for transmission of hereditary characters from parents to their children the characters the properties of children resemble with their parents because nucleic acids are transferred from the parents to their children that's why certain here nucleic acids are the biomolecules which are responsible for transmission of hereditary characters from parents to their children now next point about nucleotides the monomeric unit which are present in polynucleotides or the nucleic acids nucleotides in itself are a complex molecule now why it is a complex molecule because it consists of three more units one is your nitrogenous base second one is your pentose sugar and third one is your phosphate unit when nitrogenous base combines with pentose sugar and phosphate unit then we obtain nucleotides a nucleotide is composed of three units that's why it is a complex molecule now what are nitrogenous bases if we are talking about nitrogenous bases the so naturally there will be presence of nitrogen atom in the given compounds so nitrogenous bases are heterocyclic compounds heterocyclic what is the meaning of heterocyclic if atom other than carbon is present in the cyclic compound then the compounds are called heterocyclic compounds so nitrogenous bases are heterocyclic compounds they are the organic compounds now this n bases may contain single ring or it may contain double ring so again two types single ring structure and double ring structure in single ring structure we have the following and bases that is cytosine thymine and uracil and in double ring structure we have two and bases that is adenine and guanine so in total i have written five and bases out of five four are involved in formation of nucleic acids you might have heard about dna and rna so whenever we talk about dna then the bases involved are adenine guanine cytosine and thymine a c g t and when we talk about rna ribonucleic acid then base thymine is replaced by uracil 
so bases use in formation of rna are alanine guanine cytosine and uracil so whenever we talk about nucleic acids every time four bases are involved in formation of dna or rna or nucleic acid if we talk about dna then the bases involved are adenine guanine cytosine and thymine if we talk about rna then thymine is replaced by uh, uracil so it will be adenine guanine cytosine and uracil in rna now next we have pentose sugar we have pentose sugar pentose sugar means sugar which contain five carbon atoms sugar which contain five carbon atoms is called pentose sugar now pentose sugar use can be of two type first one is your ribose sugar and second one is your deoxy ribose sugar so what is the basic difference between ribose sugar and deoxy ribose sugar so here is the structure of ribose sugar here is the structure of deoxy ribose sugar in ribose sugar on carbon number second it is your carbon number one on carbon number second we are having oh unit while when you talk about deoxy ribose sugar then from carbon number second this o atom is removed o is removed deoxy removal of oxygen is there deoxy so this is called your deoxy ribose sugar in ribose sugar we have o atom here or we can say oh group here on carbon number second and in deoxy ribose sugar on carbon number second o is absent that's why it is called deoxy ribose sugar in rna ribose sugar is used in dna is deoxy ribose sugar so from the type of pentose sugar present rna and dna has got their name rna ribonucleic acid the nucleic acid which contain ribose sugar dna deoxy ribonucleic acid the nucleic acid which contain deoxy ribose sugar then the last one that is your phosphate units so p double bond o double bond o o minus this oxygen is uh, bonded to carbon of pentose sugar so here is your phosphate unit now in which manner they are bonded so here n bases is bonded lateral bases are bonded to pentose sugar and this phosphate unit is bonded to ribose sugar sorry pentose sugar so in this manner one nucleotide will form a bond with another nucleotide remember the bond which binds the two nucleotides together is called phosphodiester bond so in nucleic acid we will be having presence of phosphodiester bond in protein we are having peptide bond for amide bond if we talk about carbohydrates disaccharides or polysaccharides we have glycosidic bond and here we are having phosphodiester bond so whenever a bond formation takes place between two nucleotides then bond present is called phosphodiester bond then the next one is the basic difference between rna and dna rna it is having one strand only that's why it is called single stranded nucleic acid dna there are two strands having helical arrangement so dna is having double strand that's why it is called double stranded nucleic acid bases present in rna adenine guanine cytosine and uracil while in dna the bases are adenine cytosine uracil thymine and guanine rna it's of three type rrna ribosomal rna mrna messenger rna and trna which is called your transfer rna so whenever formation of protein is required then dna first form the strand of rna and when rna is formed after that formation of protein synthesis takes place so this is all about 
न्यूक्लिक एसिड थैंक यू एंड अवर नाइस